Hello there and welcome back to the Yours in Old Fomoco Iron YouTube channel. My name is Adrian Clements and today in video number 25 we're going to learn about Fomoco's 1967 Xcode Marauder 390P V8 engine. Chances are pretty good that you've never heard of this engine as it was introduced by Mercury about halfway through the 1967 model year and less than 3,000 of these parts bin specials were produced. We'll see relevant trade journal and newspaper articles about the Marauder 390P, excerpts from period Fomoco literature, and finally photos of 1967 Mercuries with this engine from each of the three assembly plants that installed them. If you like this video, please spread the word about the Yours and Old Fomoco Iron YouTube channel with your old car friends. Thank you. As I record this introduction on Friday, December 22nd, 2023, the channel has just passed 4,500 subscribers. It would be very cool to hit 5,000 before New Year's. All right, well, let's get to it. I founded the 1967 Mercury full-size registry on September 1, 2002, and ran into a bit of a mystery very early on. Registry number 7, a seafoam green 1967 Mercury commuter DFRS, or dual-facing rear seats, four-door station wagon, had a VIN of 7Z72X590029. The X in the fifth position of the VIN is the engine code, but what the heck was an X code engine in a 1967 Mercury full size car? I'd never heard of it before. Some research at the time revealed that the 1967 Mercury X code engine was known as the Marauder 390P V8 and was a special high compression ratio version of the H-code Marauder 390 V8. The H-code 390 cubic inch two barrel engine produced 270 horsepower at 4,400 RPM and 403 pound-feet of torque at 2,600 RPM with a 9.5 to one compression ratio. It could be paired only with an automatic transmission and was installed by the thousands in 1967 Mercury full-size cars. This unsourced trade journal article from early 1967 contains two updates from Mercury. The update of interest for this video reads as follows. Mercury adds V8. Lincoln Mercury is also making a higher horsepower engine available as a no extra cost option on Mercury Monterey, Montclair, Commuter, and Colony Park models. The new Mercury engine option is a 281 horsepower version of the 390 cubic inch unit. It requires premium fuel, has two barrel carburation, and a compression ratio of 10.5 to 1. The regular engine for Monterey, Montclair, Commuter, and Colony Park has the same displacement and develops 270 horsepower. It uses regular fuel and has a compression ratio of 9.5 to 1. These four small newspaper clippings appeared in newspapers ranging from Camden, New Jersey to Santa Cruz, California between Friday, March 3rd and Tuesday, March 14th, 1967. They contain the same basic information as the trade journal article. The text portion of the 1965 to 72 Lincoln Mercury Cars Master Parts and Accessories Catalog released in November 1975, Fomoco Form FP7566-A, contains listings of all the part numbers for most every component in a 1965 to 1972 Meteor, Mercury, and Lincoln automobile. Page 26 of the General Information section lists the engine codes for these vehicles and shows that for the 1967 model year, engine code X was a 390 cubic inch two barrel engine. Based on the trade journal and newspaper articles already seen, the PF notation in the remarks column must stand for premium fuel, required due to the higher compression ratio of 10.5 to one. According to this entry, the Xcode 390 engine was also used for the 1968 and 1969 Mercury's. I'll cover that in a future video. I have a complete set of these product information publications from Ford Motor Company of Canada Limited for calendar year 1967. Number 67-G-24, issued on Friday, April 21st, 1967, has a section at the bottom of page 6 and the top of page 7 entitled 10, Engine, New, 
390 cubic inch displacement, two barrel premium fuel. I've put the two parts together to see them on one page, and the section of interest is now within this large green box. The opening paragraph reads, Effective in production approximately January 16, 1967, a new 390 cubic inch displacement two-barrel premium fuel engine will have optional usage in the subject Mercury models, and those are listed as Monterey, Montclair, Commuter, and Colony Park, equipped with automatic transmission. This engine will not be installed in units equipped with manual transmission or with Thermactor emission control system. These smaller green highlighted boxes show that the Xcode Marauder 390P V8 engine had pistons, distributor, and camshaft from the Z-Code 394 barrel engine, which ironically was not available in the 1967 Mercury full-size car lineup, but with a two-barrel carburetor and intake manifold instead of four-barrel pieces. This engine produced 281 horsepower at 4,400 RPM and 419 pound-feet of torque at 2,700 RPM with a 10.5 to 1 compression ratio. Reading between the lines here, the Xcode Marauder 390P was basically a complete Z-Code 394 barrel engine with a two-barrel intake manifold and carburetor in place of the four-barrel ones. That is the definition of a parts bin special, making something new by combining existing parts in a different way. I put together this 1967 Fomoco H-Code, X-Code, and Z-Code 390V8 engines comparison table so that we can see all three of these 390 engines involved in the discussion. The H-Code 392 barrel produced 270 horsepower at 4400 RPM, and 403 pound-feet of torque at 2600 RPM with a 9.5 to 1 compression ratio. It was available in Ford and Mercury and with an automatic transmission only. The Xcode 390P two-barrel produced 281 horsepower at 4400 RPM and 419 pound-feet of torque at 2700 RPM with a 10.5 to 1 compression ratio. It was available in Mercury only and with an automatic transmission only. The Z-Code 394 barrel produced 315 horsepower at 4,600 RPM and 427 pound-feet of torque at 2,800 RPM with a 10.5 to 1 compression ratio. It was available in Ford only with no transmission restrictions. This 1967 Lincoln Mercury Manufacturer's Label Prices booklet, dated Monday, May 29, 1967, lists all of the pricing for the Mercury Full Size, Mercury Intermediate, Cougar, Lincoln Continental, and English Ford, i.e. Anglia and Cortina, vehicle lines. Page 4 of the booklet is the second page of the Mercury Full Size Car section, and at the top, it shows that the 390 cubic inch two barrel, 281 horsepower Marauder 390P engine was available with an automatic transmission and without the Thermactor exhaust emission control system in the Monterey, Montclair, Commuter, and Colony Park at no charge above the regular Marauder 390 270 horsepower engine. According to Marty Autoworks, of the 130,556 Mercury full-size cars produced during the 1967 model year, a grand total of 2,999 units were built with the Xcode Marauder 390P 281 horsepower V8 engine, an installation rate of 2.3%. Of the 768 cars currently entered in the 1967 Mercury full-size registry, 20 of them, or 2.6%, have the Xcode engine. It's quite amazing how often the registry installation percentage track very closely with the actual ones, in this case 2.6% for the registry versus 2.3% actual. Of these 20 registered Xcodes, the earliest one was scheduled to be built on Friday, February 17, 1967. There were three assembly plants producing the 1967 Mercury full-size cars. For the first of these assembly plants, this Trafalgar Blue 1967 Mercury Montclair two-door hardtop with VIN 7B57X536206 
was built at the Oakville assembly plant in Oakville, Ontario, Canada, as indicated by the B in the second position of the VIN. This car is registry number 460, and the door data plate shows the VIN and a date code of 19U, meaning that this car was scheduled to be built on Wednesday, July 19th, 1967. For the second assembly plant, this Glacier Blue 1967 Mercury Colony Park RFRS, or rear-facing rear seat four-door station wagon with VIN 7W76X, 512040 was built at the Wayne Assembly Plant in Wayne, Michigan, as indicated by the W in the second position of the VIN. This car is registry number 545, and the door data plate shows the VIN and a date code of 16E, meaning that this car was scheduled to be built on Tuesday, May 16, 1967. Finally, for the third assembly plant, this Caspian Blue 1967 Mercury Colony Park DFRS, or Dual Facing Rear Seats, four-door station wagon, with VIN 7Z76X584674, was built at the St. Louis Assembly Plant in Hazelwood, Missouri, as indicated by the Z in the second position of the VIN. This car is registry number 668, and the door data plate shows the VIN and a date code of 28D, meaning that this car was scheduled to be built on Friday, April 28, 1967. And no, those styled steel wheel covers were not a factory option on the 67 Mercury full-size cars. In a neat coincidence, all three of these cars have the word blue in their paint color marketing names. Trafalgar Blue, Glacier Blue, and Caspian Blue. Thank you for watching video number 25. I hope you enjoyed learning about Mercury's 1967 Xcode Marauder 390P V8 engine. Please be sure to check out videos number 1 through 24 on my channel for more interesting Fomoco related content. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoy my videos and want to support my efforts, please share the Yours and Old Fomoco Iron YouTube channel with your old car friends. Thanks! If you have any questions or if you have a suggestion for a future video topic, please feel free to email me at adrian.clements at me.com. Yours in Old Fomoco Iron, Adrian.